Welcome to the new video in uh, ChatGPT. How do we work on the DAX code in ChatGPT for Power BI? Now, DAX code, if you know people who are already experienced users in Power BI, who have done the data visualization, now DAX is something very important. How do I write the DAX codes in ChatGPT for Power BI? Now, usually it takes a lot of time and effort to master the DAX functions. Okay. Now, here in ChatGPT, we can get the answers very, very quickly. Let's try to understand. So, if you see on my screen, I have multiple tables which I have loaded in the Power BI. Carefully observe here. I have the sales data, product data and the marketing data. These are three tables which I have loaded in this place. And now, I want to get the answers over here. So, what is the question right now? Let me just copy the question which I have written over here. In the notepad, I can directly paste it over here. Control A, V. Yes. So, what I have done is, I have uploaded two tables in Power BI. There are three. I have just told them two. The first table name is the product data, which has a column named as product name. Product data table has a product name column. Let me show you that. Product data has a product name column. If you see this one, can okay, I am explaining. I am trying to explain first the data set. The second table has the sales data, which has a profit column. Second uh, table is the sales data and there is a profit column, which I have. Now, after explaining the data, now the question which I am asking, create a DAX function which calculates the average profit by product name. Average profit by product name. So, here if you observe the average profit, so profit is in the other table and the product name is in the other table. Normally, how do I do that? In Power BI, when I create a new page, from the sales data, I can pick up the profit, drag and drop it here. From the product data, I might pick up the product name, drag and drop it here. So, this way I can create a simple table to explain people about what is a profit by this one. Now, I'll just increase the font size to make it look better. The font size I can make it as 14. So, let me type it here 1, 4 and I can click on apply. So, this is giving me the sum of the product name. I can right click and convert into an average. So, this is the average which is 907, Cherry Coke which is 945, that's the average profit and so on. This is the average profit for all the product names. So, I can just move it on the left hand side. Now, how do I write a DAX function for that? Here, I need to just go to this place, copy this text, open my chat GPT. And here I can paste the text over here in this place and I can enter. Now, it will first understand the problem, understand the uh, things which I have told them. And now it will create a function over here. This is the formula which they have created. So, average profit by product name, it calculate function, average filter and it is giving some data set over here. So, I can just copy, come back to Power BI. Now, you should be an expert, you should know at least where to paste it. In the home menu bar, I can click on this new measure option and in the new measure, I can paste this function. So, this becomes average profit by product name and I can just press enter. This is the average profit by product name. I can drag and drop it on the right hand on this table here. Now, carefully observe, this is the one which is calculated using the measure option. And the first one is something which is known as implicit measure. The measure which I have created is known as explicit measure, which can be used in the other tables, other data modeling areas as well. Whereas the first one is the implicit measure, okay, which is only useful in this particular table only. This is one example. I can also take help of one more area. Now, there are very few people who know that uh, co-pilot is a concept which is available in Power BI in the latest versions. So now, how do we use the co-pilot? In the home tab, we have the quick measure and here suggestions with co-pilot. So here in the co-pilot, I can write only a simple language, average profit. If I write a simple statement, average profit, and here it will give me a measure. You see, this is the average profit, measure sales data, average profit. When I click on add, this particular field, if you see that's a measure 2 will be added on the right hand side. If I go back here, here somewhere you see that's a measure 2 which is added. Now again, I can go to quick measure. Here I can put all my requirements which I have into this suggestions with copilot. So this was average profit. I can talk about sales by product name. Okay, a simple language sales by product name. Click on generate options and here this will give me the calculation a DAX measure which is sales by product name. And here I can just click on add. So now it works like a chat GPT. Basically, it's kind of a Bing AI, which is connected with Microsoft Office 365 products in which Power BI is also included. 
and you can get all these options available here. So that is Copilot. Now, Copilot is a very big term which has not yet been introduced, implemented properly in all the Power BI areas. Mostly, it is only implemented in the DAX area as of now. In some countries, not all the countries again. Perfect. So I hope you have understood how to work on the DAX functions in Power BI by Chat GPT. That's all for this video. <laughs>